people. This is Stevie Wilson for LAStory.com. As this is the middle of October and we're heading towards the end of the month, Halloween signals the beginning of holiday prep season. And when you're looking at holidays, I'm always thinking of parties and family things and New Year's Eve and things like resolutions. Well, along with that comes you need to actually be looking good, if not great, for all these different events. So we have somebody special here today. We've got more magazines, Dee Dee Gluck, who's going to talk to women about how to get a head start on 2016, making a resolution to look better and feel your most beautiful this season, which sounds like a great idea because I think we all could use it given the weather on both coasts. So how are you today, Dee Dee? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. I know it's hard to believe it's all, it's all coming to an end, 2015. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's, it's moved too fast, and the weather just doesn't make feeling beautiful easy no it's true it's, it's very complicated weather this time of year <laughs> it is on both coasts I mean it's we had rain a couple days ago I mean lots of rain and then it's been really really hot and now we've got now mid mid 70s I know it's very important what to do well one thing to do actually is uh, get yourself on a good skincare regimen you, that's imperative in weather like this that's all up and down um, you know, consistency and commitment are key. So pretty much if you start a very consistent and, and, and it can be, you know, pretty conservative skincare regimen now, just think of the difference that you'll see in even a month from now. I mean, it takes three weeks for a new habit to form. So if you start doing this now, come holiday time, you're already going to be in the full swing of your good skincare regimen and, uh, and you'll be virtually weatherproof. And by that I mean um, you want to cleanse every night, just a gentle cleanser to make sure that you have all of your makeup off. Um, you want to exfoliate up to three times a week and uh, you want to use moisturizer after you cleanse. Um, and certainly if anti-aging is the concern, um, you want your moisturizer to have retinol in it. Um, retinol is one of the most effective ingredients to improve the, the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and it's the number one dermatologist recommended cosmetic anti-aging ingredient. Um, but you know, one thing to know is not all retinols are created equal. Um, differences in their, their concentration in the formula and in the way they're packaged can affect their ability to make your skin look really great. Um, so at the magazine, I like to uh, recommend Rock Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Night Cream. Um, for starters, it's really fairly priced, $22 at Walmart, um, and it's got an exclusive combination of pure retinol and an essential mineral complex, and the cream has been shown uh, to smooth wrinkles in just four weeks. Again, start now and you shouldn't have a problem <laughs> come holidays. Um, exactly. That sounds like a great product. I know I've used Rock before. I just haven't used that particular cream, but that's a good idea. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It, it also has, um, their blend of retinol is two times stronger than imitators based off of vitro retinol activity in the product. Um, and, you know, basically a short way of saying, or a long way of saying it's, it's the real deal. And it's, it's packaged in an aluminum tube, so it protects the retinol from the light and air and keeps it stable. Um, I personally will be making my retinol resolution tonight, um, and I know that the company has a site, rockretinolresolution.com, where you can make your own retinol resolution starting now. Um, and if you sign up before November, if you, if you go to the site before November 30th, you can also enter a fun sweepstakes. Oh, great. So are, what other resolutions people should be making at this time of year? Well, the biggest one I think that most people think about, male, female, old, young, um, are to health and fitness. Um, and, exactly. You know, like skincare, though, these things can seem like daunting goals. Um, but the truth is, if you break them up into doable parts and you start now, you get your jump start now, come holiday time, you'll look and feel much better. And you also are probably more apt to stick to them. Um, so that February 1st won't roll around and you won't find yourself still motivating to, you know, to do something um, and, and or still not motivated to do something rather. And with, with health and fitness, um, the, the important things, well, this, these are the important things with forming any new habit, are consistency and commitment. So that means commit to finally getting rid of those things in your diet that you know aren't doing your body any good. I'm talking about fried food, I'm talking about processed food, anything with a lot of sugar in it, 
Um, and, you know, nobody's perfect. You're not going to get rid of them 100%, but to the extent you can. Cutting down makes a meaningful difference. Um, and, you know, and ditto exercise. Um, you don't, this doesn't need to be the year that you run a marathon. <laughs> Maybe this is the year that you commit to getting 20 minutes of physical activity that you weren't otherwise getting daily. That's really all it takes. And, you know, don't discount the power of things like walking into town to get your groceries instead of jumping in the car, um, going up and down the stairs at work all day. I have an assistant at work who does that. Instead of taking the elevator to the mailroom, she always goes up and down the stairs. Um, those are great ideas, and they're very easy to incorporate. That's, those are really great ideas. I totally agree with the stairs because yes. I go up and down stairs whenever possible yeah. in various buildings that I'm in and out of because to me it's A, faster, and B, it's a great way to get some cardio in if, you, if you're running fast enough. That's right. That's right. So it's always, it's always interesting. I, I happen to have a really good you know, workout. I take my dog out for a walk for, for an hour early in the morning, oh, and I come home and then have a little bit of water, and then I go hit hit it my workout. Wow, that's great. Now that's, see, and a dog is a, a perfect excuse for a workout, too. I mean, you have to get Absolutely. out there with a dog. <laughs> dogs, dogs love getting out for walks. So it's like if you can do that, that's a great thing, and it gets people motivated. I'm doing usually two plus miles a day. Oh, that's amazing. You must be in great shape. But you also, you know, you mentioned water, which is really important for everything we've been talking about. Water mm -hmm. for, for both skin care and for your, your diet and your exercise. I mean, when you're well hydrated on the inside, A, it shows on the outside. It also gives you the energy to go longer and farther. Um, and, uh, you know, and it, and it keeps you feeling full. I'm sure you've had those times where you felt like, gosh, I'm really hungry. And it turns out you were just thirsty. <laughs> you were dehydrated. Exactly. And it's like part of that is just, and if you're feeling tired in the middle afternoon, have more water because oh, yeah. it's yet likely that, too, again, you're dehydrated. That's right. That's right. So for me, it's like lots of water. I'd probably in, drink a couple liters a day, but it's, it's interesting that sometimes I forget, even right. though it may be sitting on my desk. Right, right. Again, it's, it's so funny. All of these things seem like, you know, changing all of your routines. It seems like it's such a big deal. But honestly, the, the change really just needs to happen in your mind. Like, I'm committing to making this conscious choice today. I'm going to fill up my water bottle, keep it on my desk, and by the end of the day, it better be empty. <laughs> right. So if people have more questions for you, where can they reach you? At more.com. Um, Super. Uh, and... They can go to their favorite pharmacy or mass merchandise store to pick up the rock retinol. That's right. Um, to That'll pick up super. that retinol and to so, pick up the current um, issue of more. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's a great idea, too. People, you'll find links to everything, including how to get to more magazine on the blog. Dee, Dee, thank you for all your great tips. We really appreciate it. And have a great holiday season. Thank you so much. You, too. Okay, people, this is Stevie Wilson for LAStory.com. Seeing you soon. Bye.